Patrick Farrell. Alex Farron. We're doing Celebrity Wines. Yes. Red wines this time. Yes. And you were involved in picking them out with your mom? Yes, I picked out the wines and I am blind tasting Pat. So we're going to focus upon quality, basically, whether or not we like them. I have no idea what the wines are, what the price point is. And a proviso, I love red wines. Alex is not a big red wine fan. No. Let's just see what a recent college graduate thinks about them and what a master of wine thinks. Also, your friends, mm -hmm. would they be influenced to buy a celebrity product? Yes. I would imagine a problem could be pricing because recent college graduates can be short on money. Mm -hmm. But once they start making money, they would be willing to fork over a little extra for a celebrity yes. product. Yes. Well, why don't we do this? Let's taste the three wines. I've already tasted all of them. Let's take a look at the first one and let's see what we think. It's the lightest colored of the wines. I can see through it. And on this nose, I get oak. I get vanilla, vanilla, and then I get some vanilla. I'm afraid this could be a little bit of oak juice. That's a term we use. Ooh, I don't like that one. It's sweet up front, and then it's bitter. Using some sweetness to hide the bitterness from the tannins, and not doing a terribly good job. There, no, it doesn't smell and taste like vinegar. It's not terrible. Though the question I always ask myself in this setting, in a wine that I think is you know, pretty mediocre, could I drink a glass of it? And the answer is no, I couldn't drink a glass of it. <laughs> so why don't we see what this is? It, it's New World. Whenever we have a, a, a lightly colored wine like that, the question whether or not it could be a thin skin uh, variety. This is 19 Crimes by Snoop Dogg, and it is a California 2019 red blend. It is actually only $10 at Trader Joe's. So the $10 price point mm -hmm. for somebody who wants to imbibe a celebrity wine, I would imagine this wine would be better if one paired it as Snoop would pair it with some cannabis. I would imagine uh, uh, some cannabis may improve it. Uh, who knows? I don't intend on uh, trying the pairing, but I like the packaging. The pack yeah, the packaging is very nice. The packaging I like is... the dark bottle. Yeah. For those folks who like oaky, somewhat sweet wines, for 10 bucks, knock yourself out. Sorry, Snoop. Not my cup of tea. Let's move on to the second one. This one's a little bit darker. I get toasty French oak and some dark fruit on the nose. And this wine has a little bit more structure. The, there's more fruit than there is oak. Mm -hmm. Now again, you don't like red wines, yeah. <laughs> whereas I do. The tannins are fairly silky for a young wine and a pretty good length, pretty good quality. I thought this is a New World wine. And for the most part, I thought it was reasonably good. I could drink a, drink a couple glasses of this. Especially if I had it with some food. This one it's from is Italy. Every Breath by Sting. It's Tuscan and it's from the year 2018. And it is $20. Yeah. It's very much of a New World style in that there's clean fruit, overt oak. It should be. Instead of every breath you take, should it be every sip you take? Yes. So much for my pun. <laughs> for the most part, for $20 uh, for Italian red that is very clean, it was good. Better than that one. Yeah. And, and also, Italian wines, red wines, for the most part, are meant not to be consumed as cocktails, are meant to be consumed with food. And let's move on to wine number three. I don't smell very much with this one. There's some cherry and, and some vanilla. It's not leaping out of the glass, but, but it's there. It seems, it smells very clean. And this is the most tannic of the wines. The firmest of the wines. With that said, this is the most tannic of the wines. Though it has fairly nice fruit. There's more fruit here than oak. It's a, another wine similar to the second wine that is going to be a wine that's going to show much better with food. It's not a good cocktail wine, but be a nice one to have with pasta, grilled meat, grilled chicken. It could be pretty flexible. 
why don't we see what it is? I think, you know, to me, this is also uh, a new world one, and this is Francis Ford Coppola. Yes, this is Francis Coppola, which is his diamond collection, which is a Cabernet Sauvignon from 2018. And does it say where? Let me look at the back label. The price is $12 from Trader Joe's. Uh -huh. So this is probably coming from the Central Coast. Francis Ford Coppola makes some spectacular premium wines in the state of California, in Napa Valley. I've been to the winery. I've had lunch once, actually, with he and his wife. And they were very gracious. The top-notch wines are spectacular. For $12, this is a, a nice quality glass of wine. So what would you rank these three? How would I rank these three? I would probably... Sting wins out, followed by Francis Ford Coppola's one. Though again, you said that's $12? Yes. That's a very good buy at $12. And then uh, Snoop's wine comes in third, but again, there's a niche here for somebody who likes sweet and oaky wines. Go knock yourself out. I can't, though I could easily drink a few glasses of these at preferably at the dinner table. So we had three celebrity wines yes. that were all pretty reasonable. Um, I preferred two of the three, which isn't bad, and for celebrity wines that are actually pretty well priced. Would you bring any of these to a friend's house for dinner? No. No. Well, well, let's say you had to bring a red wine. If I had to bring a red wine, I definitely would bring Stings. Okay. I don't really like this one very much either. Mm -hmm. Well, it's tannic, and you don't like tannic wines. But this is, you know, the interesting thing here is that people vary as to their style and types of wines that they like. So we're showing somebody who's not a red wine drinker tasting some red wines. You're not going to be influenced by a celebrity. No. Though there are people who would be. Of these three, Francis Ford Coppola was a celebrity filmmaker. I think he's now retired from filmmaking, but he's been at the top notch professionally in terms of being a winery and vineyard owner. So even though he has celebrity status, uh, he is very well established in the world of wine. He's a wine pro. That all said, I hope this was useful. Enjoy, have fun, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we don't do this in a vacuum. Give us comments on things that you'd like us to do. Obviously, I'm not going to go out tomorrow and spring for some uh, first growth wines, but in due time, perhaps. My yeah. mom really wants subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so send this to all of your friends. My mom's making me post this on my Instagram. <laughs>